heading out of the house to do my favorite weekend activity which is going to a nearby cafe bring in my book and other thinking supplies I always say that but it's really like I go I read I listen to music and then I have interesting thoughts and then things come out of that so it's like I need my sketchbook and my planner and whatever else because I always get jazzed but I'm going to a cafe I'm gonna have a little cup of tea and read my book, basically doing what I could do at home, out of the house, so that I don't lose my mind. with a single iced tea <laughs> whoops <laughs> but I was reading that same book that I was reading yesterday about the everyday um, and it's just so good <laughs> like, I feel like every time I read it I freak out a little bit because it's so relevant 
to the stuff that I'm thinking about. Um, there's a lot in there about like how or sort of what the everyday is and how because obviously of ever shifting context of any single person's life um, it's somewhat it's sort of impossible to define the everyday but then I was thinking about um, sort of rather than defining the everyday based on what it contains like you know the everyday is the quotidian or repetitive actions or something that's intrinsically human I think that I contextualize or understand it as seeing like the ability to look and recognize um, and like perceive perceive things um, that that happen to people. <laughs> this is very vague and I wrote some notes that are much more kind of <laughs> coherent but um, it definitely has a lot of relevance to what I'm currently doing and what I, or sort of the general realm of where I see my work um, existing, maybe not so much the like Bettina Valentina stuff, but there's this new kernel that's beginning to develop um, in the way that I think and what I'm doing that has very much to do with the everyday and the idea of sort of like capturing these moments of, of like seeing or rather n noticing. Um, I don't know if this, <laughs> I don't know if this is making sense, but the book is really excellent and I also had a black tea so by the end I was like so caffeinated. <laughs> and then after the cafe, I went next door to this little Chinese bakery and got myself a steamed red bean bun and like a hot dog thing. Anyway, my battery's about to die. Talk to you later. <laughs>